Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on reflecting a shape in a diagonal line. Now you may be aware that a reflection is when you flip something over and we have to specify the line that we're reflecting in. Now sometimes a line is drawn for you but sometimes it might be that you're given the equation of the line. So here we want to reflect this shape in the line y equals x. Now if you remember all your stuff about straight line graphs you'll know how to draw this but just to give you a quick summary if you have this diagonal line like this, that has the equation y equals x. And if you have this line like this, going from northwest to southeast, that has the equation y equals minus x. And the reason this works is because if you were to pick any point on this line, what this equation is saying is that the y value has got to be the same as the x value. So for example, if the x value was 3 on this line, because the y value is equal to the x value, the y value would also have to be 3. So, for example, if the x value was 4, then the y value would have to be 4 because y is equal to x. If x was 0, y has to be 0. If x is equal to minus 2, y has to be minus 2. And then we can just join these together. So, if we draw this line of reflection, we now have our line of reflection. Now, to reflect the shape in that line, all we do is we take each point and we reflect each one in turn. So we always go from this point directly towards the line of reflection, so at right angles like this. And then once you get to it, you count how many squares you've gone. So you've gone one square diagonally. And then once you've got here, you do the same. So we go one square diagonally and we'll end up here. So this point reflects in this line to that point there. Let's do the next point. Take this, we're going one square and half a square to get to the line of reflection. And then again, we do half a square, one square. We do the same distance and we end up here. And the final point is this one here. So we go directly towards the line of reflection, one square, two squares diagonally, and then one square, two square diagonally, the same distance and we end up here. And then we just have to join these up and we get our shape B.